to it. It's your one, two, I trap in the video. Y'all know what the fuck going on in here today. You feel me? I just want to come to y'all and tell y'all, you feel me? I get this question all the time, man. Like, all the freaking time, bro. And it's crazy, man. Like, how many questions I get asked today on, bro, what's the method on how you sell, how you sell, what made you start selling, you feel me? When did you, you feel me? All that shit. I'm going to answer all that shit for y'all, man. So, boom. You feel me? So it all came down to when I was in high school, you feel me? Well, I ain't gonna say I was buying shoes in middle school, but I ain't start like really like reselling until high school. So middle school, you feel me? I wasn't really a shoe head like that. I didn't know really nothing about shoes, you feel me? I ain't know between flights and retros back then, you feel me? My first pair of retros was the French Blue Savage, you feel me? Sounds like. So, my first hustling thing, what I was doing, man, I used to sell candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. You feel me? I used to sell chocolate like a motherfucker. Chocolate? Chocolate! 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 What I mean, but... Going crazy, like getting it from the dollar store for like what 57 cents, selling it for what, like a what, dollar 25, dollar, you hear me? Like tight shit, you feel me? Because now you gotta make, hey, look, before you start reselling or doing anything, you have to have money in order to make money. You have to have money in order to make money. How you gonna make money with no money? You feel me? That ain't gonna work. That's not gonna mix. You feel me? That brought me to buying shoes. Like, that's when I bought the Gamma 12s, the Taxi 12s, the Flu Game 12s. And I was a big 12s dude, because of course that was what I was buying. And, you know, so I didn't really know between real and fake. And, you feel me? Oh, I knew, like, back then, see, like, now you gotta have a black light. You know what I'm saying? To shine and look for a Chinese stamp or something. Back then, you had to just read the code. If the code didn't pop up, you feel me? When you typed it up in Google or whatever, they went fake. Hey, fake it, you feel me? So long as the code popped up, hey, it was real. Back then, hey, it was real. So, then we got in high school, and low-key, I was spoiled low-key. But my mom, she stopped buying me shit, man. And I was like, mom, but I want this, I want that. Trevor, I said, no, no, no. And I'm like, huh? Like, when you're used to being spoiled, that's why I'm not going to spoil my kids, but when you're used to being spoiled, y'all, y'all can't accept that word, no. So y'all think that shit sat right with me? No. You feel me? So all that shit, all right. And see, I already had a good bit of shoes as it was. So, eventually, I was like, dang, like, how can I get more shoes, bro? And for some reason, I think I came across YouTube or something like that. It was like reselling, you feel me? And me, I love shoes. You feel me? Who don't love shoes? You feel me? And I was just like, man, I want more shoes, but how am going to get more shoes if I'm not old enough to get a job and I ain't have no money? Like, I had zero dollars. So, I start selling my own shoes. My mom was like, oh, you start selling your own shoes? I ain't going to buy you no more pairs. I ain't going to buy you no more shoes. Now, as a kid, you'd be like, dang. And my mom, the only one I got, my mom, the only one that can buy my shoes, guess what? I didn't give a damn. <laughs> Trouble started flipping it quick. <laughs> and then, I think back then, oh, uh, what's that? Yeah, Stock S was known back then. Stock S. Iron Goat. Goat was straight too. I think both of them was known back then. I'm pretty sure I think. Because that's how I used to look up market and stuff like that. So, I would look up, see how much my shoes go for, whoop -de -whoop, and sell it. You feel me? So, that really how I used to judge my prices and stuff like that. And eventually... You feel me? The shoes I would buy, and see, I wasn't a reseller buying in all types of ranges. I bought for my size. So, what I used to do was, in high school, I'd go buy a 10 and a half or 11, size 11 shoe, and I'd rock it to school, <laughs> but i still sell it. You feel me? And i still make profit. You feel me? But I kept my shoe clean. I always kept them clean. After every day I wore them, I clean them up real good. Make sure I never wore them. All that, bro. You feel me? And that's how I kept shoe game in school. And I would make money to buy new shoes. So people would look at me and be like, Trevor got all the shoes. Whole time, I'm buying shoes and I'm selling. So like, it's like I'm coming with a different pair of shoes every day. 
But whole time, like, that's just shoes I'm buying and reselling, buying and reselling, buying and reselling. So most of the shoes people that already saw me with, I probably don't even got that shoe no more, what, a week or two from now. So, you feel me? And people always told me to get it serious and shit like that, but I didn't really, you know what I'm saying, take it too serious. Like, I was a basketball player, I was a hooper, and still, you know, I still want to go to college for it and everything. But most of my mind was more focused on, like, school, most like sports. I wasn't really stunt shoes. Shoes would just give me other shoes or anything else I wanted. You feel me? I wasn't really stunt on being a whole reseller and claiming to make thousands and millions and shit like that. You feel me? So, got in college. And like I said, I still was a reseller the whole time now. But I was just, like, on some, you feel me, like, air and nine days to get my money. You feel me? So, I miss when I dropped out of college. And I think most of every reseller, you feel me? They tell that story how they dropped out of college. I think every reseller dropped out of college most of the time. But yeah, I dropped out. And like I said, put it going back. But um, I start working at my first job. No, matter of fact, damn. My first job, that's what I should have said from the beginning. First job was sports this. I used to work at a shoe store when I was a senior, right? Shoe store when I was a senior. I used to work at at sports editions in the mall, bro. Dream come true. A shoe nigga working at a shoe store, bro. This was a dream come true. The discounts was good. Boom, boom, boom. I was selling out the store. Like, using discount on my shoes or whatever. And selling it, too. So, I was doing that. You feel me? That was making me good money. But, you know, in the shoe store, you can't use your discount for multiple sizes. Like, you can't. Like, that's why on the application, you write what size you will. And you can give a gift every now and then, but if you out here just buying 13, 12, 10 and a half, 11, 9, 9 and a half, 8. Like, you feel what I'm saying? You just buying all these sizes. It's ringing up in the system, and they like, why is this person buying all these shoes? You know what I'm saying? Now you questioning them. So, got in trouble for that one time at a shoe store. Messed around, got fired off of altercation. I don't want to get into that. Boom. Next job was TJ Maxx, okay? TJ Maxx, you feel me? That's when I was still in college working there. Using my money from TJ Maxx, and I used to sell clothes and belts from the store. You feel me? So, I will use my discount, and even though it wasn't nothing but, like, 10%, but, hey, it's better than nothing. And I was a hustler. I'm like, man, I'm trying to get it. You feel me? So, I'm selling belts, hoodies, shoes. You feel me? It's like, I do it all. You feel me? Hell yeah. So, then me fuck around, you know what I'm saying? Went through that shit all the time. I'm like, bro, I really think I can do this shit with just strictly shoes. I said that. I said, bro, I believe I can do this shit with strictly shoes, bro. Like, and my mom just like, Trevor, you know this shoe's not going to make you no money. Like, I, bro, I'm telling y'all, bro, my mama really was not for me with this shoe shit. I swear to God. It was all me. I made every, like, all the mistakes I made, the shit, the risk I took, man. That came from my heart and soul, bro. You feel me? No brother, no cousin, no mama. None of that, bro. That shit came straight from me. They were like, all right, Trevor, you know, no one of shoes ain't going to do this. Shoes can only make you but so much money. All that. So, you feel me? I mess around. And I'm like, man, I don't want to do this shit no more, man. Like, I'm tired of, like, in college, when I was in college, I wanted to play ball, y'all. And the school that I was at at the time didn't have a basketball team. So, I was like, you feel me? It wasn't no motivation. Like, I lost my motive. Put it like that. Like, all the motivation just went out the window, man. I was partying. You feel me? And I'm like, why am I in school and I'm just bullshitting around? You got to be real with yourself. Most of these people out here, like, dumbass niggas, knuckleheads, out this bitch, going to fucking school just to go party and shit. Wasting their life. Wasting their time. You feel me? I'm the age of 20. I drive a Camaro. You feel me? I'm making money at the age of 20. People right now are still in school. Partying. Not making no money. Most of the time, these people that making money, they just scamming. And you feel me? That's bad. You feel me? I ain't trying to get into that. Was that TJ Maxx? And I'm just trying. I just stopped going to work. You feel me? I like, man, I ain't trying to go to that bullshit no more. I make more money off shoes anyway. You feel me? And I really just stopped going. And I'm messing around. I got a factory job, man. Got a factory job. And I always wanted a factory job, man. If y'all are the one that like to slave and work so much, bro. Please go to a factory job. I promise you, bro. Factory job, man, that shit gonna make you money. I'm talking about a good factory job, like a warehouse. Warehouse jobs. You know what I'm saying? That pay every week, y'all. That shit hit different, bro. I 
all that money I was pulling in for that job, and I was overtime and shit too. Straight the shoes, straight the shoes, bro. All into the business, bro. Putting money straight back in the business, not spending on clothes, jewelry, all the other stuff people want to spend on. No, straight to the business, bro. And you feel me, like all that money I was making, you just mind. I ain't got no bills. I ain't paying no college thing. I ain't doing none of that. You feel me? I got my car note and phone bill, and I got some. Well, I had, okay, I had car notes, you feel me, phone bill, and I had uh bills from when I got into car wrecks and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, car wreck bills and shit, so that was that, hospital bills and shit, but that was just about it, and so, you know what I'm saying, I was busting my ass at the Frederick job and doing the shoes and stuff, and I was like, man, I make, I can make the same amount of money with shoes in a day. I ain't gonna say in a day, but I can make that money back in a day versus me slaving and busting my ass for a week. You feel me? And dealing up with bullshit, dealing up with a boss, somebody talking to me any kind of way. I'm dealing up with people bullshit. Why I go through all that when I just sit at home, chill in my zone, sell what I want to sell, do what I want to do on my own time? I ain't got nobody over my head. None of that shit, man. And you feel me? It was about that time, man. I pulled one more, one more week, man. I overtime like a motherfucker. Because I said, bro, you know what, Trevor? Because this was after Christmas. Most of the money I made for overtime was to help my mom on Christmas for my sisters in there, bro. And I did it. You feel me? I say I, I was proud of myself giving my money to my cousins and my sister. You feel me? Like my brother. You know what I'm saying? Blessed to help my mom out, man. So the money that I had uh, after Christmas, you know what I'm saying? It was little to... You feel me type shit. I mean, I had a little something, something, but it wasn't as much as what I had before Christmas. You feel me? So, yeah. Um, I said I told myself I was going to work one more week. Even though I wanted to quit, I wanted to quit. I told people, and then this phase of people, I was telling people I was going to quit that day. And so when I came back, everybody was surprised. Like, oh, I thought you were going to quit. I thought you were going to quit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, black people stay talking. And I was just like, shit. I mean... I'm just gonna pull it one more week. Put the pride to the side. I mean, y'all, y'all think what y'all want. Y'all think I'm staying just because I'm staying another week. No. So I pulled that extra week, made a band, quit. Never came back. Never came back. They called my phone. They were like, yo, what's up? What's going on? Hey, never came back. Strictly shoes, bro. Strictly shoes. And that's how I became more of a bigger reseller. Marketing. Give him this is my only income. This shoe shit is the only income I have. And I'm telling y'all, like, it was like, it was all or none, Trevor. It's either this or you're going to be broke. And see, I like to manipulate my mind. Because me, I can't struggle. I would never struggle, bro. Like, the thing with me, bro, if you put me somewhere where I'm struggling, I'm going to eventually overcome that shit. And that shit going to be some slight to me, bro. Because I can't struggle. I never wave the white flag. I never give up. None of that shit, bro. You feel me? And... Feel me came a big reseller plugging myself in. Uh, my one of my Facebook accounts got this temporary ban, temporary disabled for me. So I'm like, bro, I need to make another favorite page. Best thing I ever did, man. Came to Millersville plug, boom. Now that Millersville plug page is mostly my shoe page. You feel me? So everybody just on that bit click for shoe, shoe, shoe. Now, you feel me? Instead of posting on Trevor Jones, that was my other, my main account. I'm posting on my shoe page now. And my shoe page and my snap were blowing up. I'm talking about, I get over a thousand views on snap. And then Facebook, everybody know me. So it's like, shoot, he the plug, he the plug. You know, your name just going around. Your name spreading. And so, you feel me having uh, good customer service and you feel me marketing yourself, hustling, trying to get all the pairs you can get. All that shit, man. And then I came up with this thing, raffling, bro. And I was like, bro, I wonder if we could do a raffle. Because it's just like the lottery. You feel me? You put your money in the lottery. You trying to win, what, 10000 a million, million. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I did with shoes. Me being curious, tried it. Best thing I ever did. Make all, I mean, I'm talking about majority of my money comes from raffles. Like, guaranteed sales come from raffles. And you can choose however you want to do it. Because I know some people, you can put all your money in a raffle. And then after you win, you have to pay retail for a shoe. 
See, I don't like that shit. See, I'm more of a loving and caring guy. I'm not going to bust your fucking head. I'm not going to bust your head, bro. I'm Most of the time, I'm trying to get a sale, get you, get you this shoe for the lowest price possible, and bygones be bygones, you feel me? I'm, I'm for both sides. It's not just me being selfish, just wanting all the money. You feel me? No. I'm, I'm for both the people and me. You feel me? And raffling and yeah. And post the shoes I have really post them. You feel me? Because the shoes that people ain't buying for real that probably overpriced was well, some people may think, boom, they go that raffling. So it was good for me, man. It was it was good. I can say that, man. And that really how I started, man. It came from my mama not buying me shit no more, man. Like it killed me and I didn't like that. I don't like accepting no, I don't like accepting that I can't do something. None of that shit, man. So